I bring you an update now on a story we first reported here on Real America's Voice regarding Uzbeki nationals that have been crossing the border uh, down there in Mexico at an alarming rate. And now that was the shot. I guess here's the chaser. Looks like many of them were brought in by an ISIS related smuggler. Yes, I kid you not. That's that's exactly what we're talking about. Of course, the White House uh, saying, well, we don't know anything about terrorists coming across the border. Uh, apparently, everything is just fine and dandy. Let's bring in Tara Dahl, uh, who, of course, was with the National Security Council and a Real America Voice contributor. Tara, uh, great to have you here on the show. Uh, it's good to be with you. Good morning, David. Yeah, like you mentioned last week, we reported here on Real America's Voice with an exclusive intel report that came directly from law enforcement. And they leaked it to us because they want the American people to understand what's happening on the southern border. And this intel report stated that there is a 5,100% increase in Uzbekistani nationals crossing into the United States, coming through the southern border. And what happened yesterday? Yesterday, CNN came out with an explosive report that the FBI is now investigating an ISIS-affiliated network that's bringing over smugglers. And what's very interesting to note here is that this is an intelligence failure. Why is it an intelligence failure, David? Because they already came into the United States. So the intelligence agencies are supposed to prevent threats from happening to the United States. Now it's in law enforcement hands, so they're reacting to this. Right. And so now we're in a situation where literally the FBI is scrambling, trying to find dozens, if not more, uh, of these Uzbeki nationals. They have no clue, Tara, where these folks are right now. And that's part of the problem. The problem seems to be always on the front end with not just the border enforcement, but the vetting process to even have these people have a chance of even getting into this country. Absolutely. And with that uh, intel report that was leaked, there's a 5,100 percent increase in Uzbekistanis. They're looking, the FBI right now is looking at 15 only of this network. And what's another point to keep in mind is yesterday at the, uh, the White House comes out during the press conference and says that everything is OK. Law enforcement is on this. They have no idea where these Uzbekistani migrants are at this time. Keep in mind, there's been 1.7 million known gotaways, David, since the Biden administration took control. Known gotaways, that doesn't include the unknown gotaways. There's been 2.5 million migrants that have been apprehended in just the last 10 months alone, with 146 on the terrorist watch list that have been coming over the southern border. So this is just an example of how the Biden administration's open border policies, they have consequences. And we're seeing this. And let's, let's talk about Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan borders Afghanistan, right? And they have a terrorist problem over in Uzbekistan. They have terrorist organizations that are affiliated with ISIS. They have the Islamic movement of Uzbekistan who pledged allegiance to ISIS that consistently tries to overthrow their government. So the terrorist threat coming from Uzbekistan is very high. So the fact that you're having this 5,100 percent increase of these migrants coming into the United States should send all the alarm bells off at every single intel agency and law enforcement agency and with every single American here in the United States. You know, I'm glad you brought the geographical association up regarding Uzbekistan and Afghanistan, because I was going to ask you why the focus there, why are we hearing more about that country specifically? So you're saying it's directly tied to the links there in Afghanistan. And then Turkey, of course, I mean, we know that the ISIS smuggler, it seems that the, the U.S., uh, the Biden administration not confirming it, but, you know, at this point, who, we can't even trust them for any of this information. But apparently uh, Turkey is involved potentially as well. Uh, it's all a hotbed over there. And Erdogan, I mean, the Biden administration has been AWOL on Erdogan for sure. Yeah, definitely. It's a good point because right now the ISIS smuggler who has the network is being detained in Turkey right now. And so they can't really identify, too, in Afghanistan. There's reports that Afghanistan, the Taliban, are giving identification and passports to members of al-Qaeda. So when you're saying that you have all of these Uzbekistani nationals coming over, you can't really identify if they're from Uzbekistan or if they're from Afghanistan, if they're tied to al-Qaeda, if they're tied to the Taliban. It's all 
also reported that the Taliban are giving passports to members of, um, their, of the Taliban and family members. So we are going back to pre-9-11 conditions right now where you're seeing this threat. And then you don't know the sleeper cells. You don't know if ISIS has sleeper cells in the United States. You don't know if the Chinese do, the Venezuelans. So we're in a very dangerous spot. Um, it would be similar to pre-9-11. Yeah, I've got about a minute left, Tara. I'm, I'm curious about uh, the moratorium question. It's been raised in conservative circles. We're not going to see any sort of moratorium. <laughs> That's LOL when it comes to the Biden administration uh, because they're doing the exact opposite. They're, 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 they're the anti-moratorium uh, crowd, uh, the open borders crowd. But what about this idea of a moratorium under a president, uh, future President Trump or some sort of conservative president that always talks tough about the border but moratorium would really maybe solve at least at least a few problems until we get our act together from a vetting process and otherwise. No, I absolutely think, I mean, we just have to shut it down completely. We just have yeah. to shut it down and then have, like President Trump says, have the largest deportation we've ever had in American history and get all of those that have crossed illegally out of the country.